Today, I had to get here from Brussels. It's not an easy task. First, you have to take the bus, then you have to take the train, then you have to take the tram, and then you can walk towards Antigent. Okay, it is quite simple, but imagine that you would have to look this up on your smartphone. You would have to use at least four apps. One, you would have to use the app of the Brussels bus company, which is the MEVB. You would have to use the app of the uh, Belgian railway company, the NMBS. You would have to use the app of uh, the Lane, which is the Flemish bus company. And then finally, you could use your smartphone to actually get the walking directions towards Antigent. Well, is this, is this actually not a bit a lot of apps just for one single journey? And it, it didn't even take me about one hour, something like that. So. What can we do about this? Well, the NMBS already had, had, had a clue and all these different partners, and they started, they started uh, sharing the data amongst each other. Now, if you, look, uh, if you look at this example, it's quite simple. But from the moment we would add more data sharing partners, this quickly gets into this overcomplicated situation, where, where, um, uh, which, actually creates, um, uh, which actually needs a huge investment in infrastructure, and, in fact, all of these partners do not have a clue about your user requirements. So, what could be a possible solution for this? Well, we can get Google in the, in the, in the place, right? Everyone knows Google. And, um, and this solves two, two issues. One, we have the issue that, uh, that we only need one partner to give the data towards, or we need to give one partner the data. And uh, a second issue is that Google is, in fact, specialized in creating end-user applications. But do we really want only one partner to be able to innovate our transport experience? Here's another idea. What if we just use the web? We can use the web to upload our data towards, and we can make sure that everyone is able to use, reuse, and redistribute this data in a free way. This is the idea of open data. And it's, in fact, part of my PhD, and there's still some technical issues to it, like how do we create interoperability amongst all these data sets? But I'm going to fix them. And in two years, this is, this is fixed. And <laughs> imagine, imagine that, that we, have, we have this. We have this entire web of, of, of data. Imagine the possibilities. Actually, um, uh, there are uh, um, uh, like blind people. They, they could get personalized uh, route planning advice right into their headphones. Or, um, or we could create big screens on, on which we can immediately uh, show, show all, the, all the route planning advice. And everyone can start creating these applications, even you. So this creates a whole new world. This creates a whole new world where everyone has the same, uh, has personalized access to route planning advice. And I don't know about you, but this is the world I would like to live in.